Okay, MPC style note repeat inside Ableton. Well, first off, what is note repeat? Well, on an MPD or the MPC, the note repeat function allows you to choose a time division like 16th notes and hold the note and it'll play it for you. Now, you can also choose like 32nd notes or 8th notes, whatever you want. I'm gonna go back to 16th. This works pretty good for keeping you on time, so you can just... But if you want to tap notes out, like really fast, sometimes it doesn't pick them up, like... It's because you're off beat, and it's trying to keep you on beat. And it's a cool function, but it works globally across all the pads. It'd be better if you could just choose one pad for it to work on. And, well, the way it works inside Ableton, is if you grab an arpeggiator, pull it down to whichever drum you want. I'm gonna use the hi-hat here. This works exactly the same way. If you hold a note, you can choose note values. You can add swing. You can even unsync it from the song so you can play like weird like rolls. And this allows you to play these two notes or whatever other keys any way you want. So you don't have to be on sync with everything. And um, as far as I know, this drop down list doesn't do much. This uh, offset doesn't do much. Gate doesn't do much. These three here with the weird buttons here don't do much. Um, distance works along with steps. It kind of warps it a little bit, so. And, um, velocity sort of makes it trail off after you touch the note, so. I don't know. You might find a use for that. Um, basically that's the way it works. If you want the full MPC sound, you just sort of drag it in front of the rack and it works the same way you can choose note values sorry but it's the same way you can't really tap notes out because it sort of stops you from playing offbeat But this is awesome because if you don't have an MPC, you can use your keyboard or your recorded keyboard, whatever you want. Um, I don't know. That's basically it.